hello. Welcome. Welcome. Shoes off, please. Thank you. Welcome to my wild Friday night in Los Angeles vlog. I'm having so much I'm having so much fun. I decided instead of watching the Weather Channel in my own house in San Diego where nothing ever happens, why not go spend money on a hotel room in my own, you know, hometown in my own city just two and a half hours away to change it up, to jazz it up, you know? I love just giving myself a little razzle dazzle every now and then, whether it's bundles. I love throwing in random bundles. In this case, it's just changing locations, but not changing the vibe. My vibe is clearly picking up inanimate objects and using it as a microphone. Also, watching tornadoes. Obviously, you know, I'm not romanticizing the actual tornado because I know we got to be so careful of what we say online because everything I say and can, what's the saying? Everything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Everything that influencers and, you know, actual celebrities and musicians say can, I need to go to bed. Anything that I say can be taken to an extreme and it will be used against me. So let's put it this way. Mother Nature, you scary. You scary. And I want to get to know you. I, I think it's very fascinating how these weather systems develop. Do you? Leave, leave a comment below if you understand what I mean. These massive tornadoes just come out the sky and they just cause absolute horrible destruction. And I remember I was traveling, I don't know where, I mean, I'm assuming it was Alabama, like where else would I be going at the time, but I was traveling and we got stuck. It was like 2011, I believe. And we had a layover somewhere in Nashville. I think it was Nashville or Memphis, somewhere in Tennessee. And all of a sudden flights were getting canceled. They were saying like there's severe weather. And I thought like, why would you ground planes? Like severe weather happens all the time. I was just really young. I don't remember this that well, but I recall um, tornado alerts were going around. They were saying there's a tornado nearby and it just happened so quickly. We didn't see the actual tornado because it was like pitch black, but we were just being hit with the remnant. So to give you a visual, we're in the airport. Excuse me. You do not bore me. You do not bore me. I just, I'm yawning because it's really late. We're at the airport. And I remember vividly that we had to get a hotel to like spend the night and go on to the next, you know, flight in the next morning because they didn't have any on US Airways. Remember that airline, US Airways? Are we getting old? Yes. <laughs> hey, at least it's not Pan Am. That's a real throwback. That's a real throwback. The US Airways 1996 crew. We got to get around health insurance soon. Am I right? All right, I'm stop talking now. But wow, that is massive. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is fascinating. Anyway. We stayed in some janky hotel and it was a very humbling experience. It was very uh, wholesome. It's moments like this when you truly re realize, you know, we have to rely on each other to get through something. And I seem to get into a lot of these situations, whether it's like, you know, a freaky storm that happened in Florida, or in this case, there's a literal tornado ripping through. Um, it was like the Joplin, Missouri tornado outbreak, which actually killed quite a few people and injured. And it was like the nastiest tornado cluster, cluster fuck in history. It was so bad, um, but yeah, our flights got grounded because of that. And I remember the the shuttle that we took was literally swaying. It was just swaying to whatever hotel we were going to, probably like Quality Inn or something like that. And I just remember seeing hail for the first time, and it wasn't like normal cute hail, like California like influencer hail, where it's like, mm, buy my you know buy my link below, use my code for twenty percent off. It was like maybe this, this big. And I'll never forget that. That's something that you just never forget. Anyway, so I find weather very interesting. And to jazz up this night even more, just being myself, just being very glamorous in bed, I ordered none other than Roscoe's chicken and waffles. I know, I know, I know. I prefer to be plant-based, but this is a ritual. There's no buts, I know, I know. There are no butts, but there are legs and wings and thighs awaiting me soon. Oh, 
All right, this is my dinner, my very late night dinner. I got my mac and cheese. This is proper mac and cheese. This isn't like, you know, the one you make at home. This is Roscoe's mac and cheese. You got the waffle. I got a thigh and a wing. I got the real Obama special, but I added on a thigh just because I think thighs matter. And this is some gravy. And this is the $6. It's not just fruit punch, it's fruit punch and lemonade. Yeah, it's not that special, but to me it is. It's called the sunrise or is it the sunset? I forget, I don't know. And then I got this bottle of water from the hotel. This, this is how I know I've made it. I'm sitting here feasting, feasting with my bath towel as a napkin because I specifically told Roscoe to give me a napkin and they didn't, but it's okay. I still love you. But I hate that we naturally you can't help it. No matter how like independent you are, you fall for it every time. Um, besides, like two times, and you learn. Yeah. Because it's like I don't I don't know about you, but I like when men are clingy and like kind of like into you. Well, yeah, but this I just. Where the shisha? Hello, everybody. This is Kelly Stamps. I have not found the shisha. I don't know what that means, but it's a song by Saucy Santana. I don't know where the shisha is, but I do know where the fun is, and it's right here in LA. I'm sitting here across the street from the west side, uh, west, not Westfield, not, oh God, not the west side pavilion. That's the other mall, the OG California people. You know what that is at the playpen and you know, Claire's and all that. That's, that's a, that's a vibe, but we're not talking about that right now. I'm at the Westfield mall because I'm going to go get my tiramisu in a second. I just finished brunch with my friend and it was very fun because we talked for a long time. And I confirmed two things. I'm like, wow, we are nasty, first of all. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. Uh, I love when friends are as deviant as you are and you can openly have these conversations. And two, we were always material girls. The only thing that changed was the budget. Because even when we were poor, like working at this one restaurant, the Sunflower Cafe, where my manager tried to like fight me for whatever reason, and her ass got fired. Ha! Um... We were always material girls. We were just privileged broke, we always say. Anyway, to really get the full Beverly Hills experience, I'm gonna go to Rodeo right now and meet my friend Camden. She's taking her cat, Princess. Again, this is just what I grew up with. My friends were all, we just, we get it. The girls who get it, get it, the girls who don't know. Her cat is sick, poor thing. So she's taking it to the vet right now, but we're gonna go people watch on Rodeo and just go bask in the LA experience. Because I actually never spent time over here. I grew up on the west side and west siders don't really go east of the 405 often because we're like, Phil's Coffee, you know, uh, Third Street Promenade. Hello everybody, this is Franklin Stamps. Why Franklin? Because this is Grand Theft Auto. I mean, this is my car, I didn't steal it. It's just that this ain't my parking spot. I'm not supposed to be here. I am on that main third street, whatever, where Jones on third is, where literally everyone goes to eat for some reason. Also, I never realized how many nice cars there are in LA. Like obviously there's a lot of shmoney here and lots of bragging and all that, but there are some seriously nice vehicles. I'm like, hmm, no wonder why I have expensive tastes. When you grow up around this as someone who's just awkwardly in the middle, you just want to have it all, naturally. And for me, like, I didn't have a car for a long time. It's not because I couldn't afford one. It's like, I didn't want anything besides an Audi, Mercedes, or BMW, because I'm a material girl. I'm gonna go get a Material Girl cupcake. I'm going to Magnolia, which is, in my opinion, a little bit better than Sprinkles. Also, I love that I can just vlog here outside because no one's judging me. I'm pretty sure every white, that person's probably a YouTuber. He, probably a TikToker. So Magnolia is right there. Look at this beautiful store. I definitely have to go in. Oh my goodness, I want that blue dress with the gloves. 
Stop, we're going in here. Shoot, I'm gonna get a ticket. Ticket or beautiful dress. Ticket, beautiful dress. I, I need that dress with the gloves. We're going in. I love like both. I like the fit. This one's definitely like more cleavage. That one's more loose. You know, I didn't get up close with the other one. Well, okay, this is what... It's not uncomfortable, though. No, you look really good in it. I did not get a ticket. And I got some cute threads. Got my little vintage fashion moment. I went to Saks. I've really outdone myself. I went to Saks and spent 975 there. Wow, it's Camden, turning on Camden. This is still Kelly Stamps. Or should I say, Kelly Post-It, because these were the beginnings of my days as a stationary object on the internet. This is where I grew up. Well, not there, but in the west side. The west side is my home. I'm here at my favorite restaurant, which is owned by my friend, dear friend. Um, his name is Carlo. And him and his brother run restaurants around here. You probably heard of Sugarfish, but his brother, um, their whole company does like sugar fish. So I'm gonna go get my Pomodoro. It was a part of my routine. Original followers know. My Pomodoro is this plain pasta. It's so delicious here. And the fun thing about this place, sorry, the lighting's kind of weird. The fun thing about this is that they fly in their pasta fresh from Italy all the time. So you're not eating anything else other than fresh, high quality pasta. I'm telling you. That is the Shanger Law. Many good memories there. Again, it's fun coming back as an adult who's grown <laughs> because I went there with my friend and I would be like, do you have um, apple juice? <laughs> and I would just be annoying as kids and go there. It's so fun. I love coming to LA. It's truly just an experience when you haven't been here in a while. 